Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Citation Jet Pilots Association marks 12 months accident-free. Also, Apple drone patent revealed. And Rocket Lab to reuse Electron Rocket. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. The Citation Jet Pilot Owner Association is the largest organization for operators of the Cessna Citation Series of Light Jets, and they have successfully completed 12 months of accident and incident-free flights. They say their dedication to safe operation through continual education is key to the accomplishment. David Miller, Director of Programs and Safety Education for the CJP Safety and Education Foundation, believes their efforts have paid off. This achievement is the culmination of our efforts, including our Gold Standard Safety Awards, a groundbreaking study on single-engine go-around decision-making and pilot performance analysis through flight operational quality assurance data collection, he said. The CJP Safety Committee annually meets with the Textron Aviation before the convention to review accidents and incidents involving citation jets, regardless of operator or membership status. That focus on safety is the core of CJP events and activities including their safety stand down currently underway in Indian Wells, California, offering training content and topical discussions. The CJP provides a central hub for operators wanting topical pertinent information for their citation operations tailored to their aircraft. Members may receive the CJP Gold Standard Safety Award, recognizing those who abide by SOP in their 100 hours or more annual turbine PIC time. After the break, EAA begins 180 turnaround study. More news after these messages. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Welcome back with so much news coming out of the aviation industry. We're going to be summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. EAA begins 180 turnaround study. The EAA has put together a safety analysis team to evaluate current pilot training and response when gliding to the runway, specifically pilot reactions to the difficult 180-degree turn back following an engine failure on takeoff. The maneuver has long been known to be a cause of incidents for low time and inexperienced pilots, but the EAA believes a study on real-world reactions could find space to improve. The Aerospace Center for Excellence has announced its new Skylab Innovation Center internship programs. This initiative offers future aerospace and aviation professional hands-on training and on-the-job experience at ACES Laboratories. A world-famous campus is a great place for interns to experience aerospace aviation with opportunities to touch on a variety of pathways through a STEM career. ACE describes the program as a mission to impact a variety of people and barriers to employment. New Flight School for Tennessee Students opening soon. Tennessee Area Flight School 
Nashville Flight Training has begun operations this month to open a satellite location at Maury County Regional Airport with an open house planned for October 28th. The school is looking forward to creating more aviators to add to their 3,000 alumni taught over 10 years of education. The new facility at Maury will feature new aircraft, flight simulators, and classrooms with plenty of space for ground training. Embraer touts 30 jets delivered in Q3. Embraer released its third quarter delivery results for this year, having fulfilled 30 jets in total. Surprisingly, only nine of them were commercial jets, with the other 21 split between the company's executive jets, selling two of their Phenom 500 and five of their 600. Embraer delivered 14 Phenom 300 aircraft. The Phenom 300E continued its streak of popularity again this year, still the best-selling light jet for nearly 10 years. Their 15th hundredth business jet was delivered to a Swiss customer. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Apple drone patent revealed. Whatever projects they pursue, their market penetration and unique approach toward the end user tends to have an effect on every product ecosystem they enter. It's not an overstatement to say that whatever they do, they will be an industry reaction. The Swiss watch industry had a brief panic upon release of the highest tier Apple watch in 2014, fearing their watches would be knocked from their $5,000 thrones. UAS manufacturers and pilots might rightly fear then the changes in coming when they see a sleek, glassy white drone mock-up with an Apple logo in their inbox. Would their approach to operation and design kick off industry fads that affect the rest of the UAS brands? Thankfully, to an extent, those fears are unwarranted. Apple's newest patent pertains to UAS utilization in cellular networks. Now, granted systems and methods for using unmanned aerial systems in cellular networks describes a methodology for positioning a UAS in a 5G network for enhanced connectivity. The process is described from a non-technical layman's perspective. Seems like methods to enhance the communications between a drone, its controller, and the network at large. After these messages, Rocket Lab to reuse Electron Rocket. Those details after the break. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Welcome back, Rocket Lab, to reuse Electron Rocket. Rocket Lab has revealed its newest efforts refining its Electron Rocket's first stage recovery and reusability processes during their next satellite delivery launch. After delivery of the second stage and payload towards its target, the first stage will complete a controlled descent aided by parachutes to a splashdown point in the ocean. Once there, their ocean recovery and capture apparatus system will retrieve the rocket and store it in its cradle for inspection and return to service. Their eventual goal is to capture a returning rocket mid-flight during descent. During the next launch, referred to as the Love at First Insight mission, Rocket Lab will deliver two Earth observation satellites for global monitoring company Black Sky. Sometime after November 11th, 
The continued refinement of the Electron system is hoped to create a more robust, reusable, and reliable rocket with lower maintenance requirements for each successful mission. Changes to their operations will include closer chase helicopters to scout the touchdown point and begin recovery faster, with the rocket receiving improved heat shielding and a higher deployment parachute system to provide a slower, longer descent. The data received will be analyzed for future aerial recovery efforts. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.